Double Dragon Loop. Hello everybody, welcome back. And yes, in today's little um, knotting tutorial here, I've learnt the Double Dragon Loop and in my research I found out that this is an excellent end of rope loop. This particular knot, it's lesser known than some of the other end of rope loop knots. However, this one is as secure, if not better, than some of the better known ones. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll put some links down below if you want to research the double dragon loop further. Um, but what I will do is I'm going to show you today two ways of tying this one. First of all, I'm going to tie it without actually putting it around a post and then just putting a loop in the end of the rope and then I'll show you how to tie this particular knot first of all going around a post and then tying the actual knot itself. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on and let's get knotting. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my rope laid out in front of me. There is my working end. To the right hand side, we then have our standing end. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of the cordage from our standing end. And what I'm going to do in front of us, we need a fair bit of cordage. We're going to put ourselves a fairly large S shape. So you can see my working end is at the bottom. We've got a bite, another bite, and then it goes across to the top to the right hand side. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my working end, which is the bottom lead. I'm just going to bring those a little bit closer. So I'm going to take my working end at the bottom there and I'm going to take it underneath that bite there. So it's going around underneath that bite there. The next thing I do is I'm going to pass it over once. So I've just pulled it, pulled that working end over. So take it over from there and bring it down over that bite. Then take it underneath everything and then bring it to the back. And now bring it over everything again and bring it to the front. And so you can see now here, as I lay this out in front of me, I've got a loop here and a loop here. And all I do now, so simple this, take this right hand loop, pass it over everything and then pass it through the bottom loop, the left hand loop that we created there, just pull it through and then start dressing it up nicely. And there you can see now we have tied ourselves the double dragon. And the beautiful thing about this knot is it's not easily shaken free. Once, it's, once, once you've dressed it up correctly, it doesn't shake free too easily, unlike, say, for example, the bowling, something like that. And so therefore... This is considered to be a very, very secure loop end, um, uh, end, of loop, end of rope loop. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, that is the first method of tying it. Now let me show you where, if we're going to tie it around an object. Right, so here in this particular scenario, you can see here I've got a post. And what I want to do is I want to tie my double dragon loop around that post. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, so my working end here is going off to the right hand side and I've taken a little bit to the right hand side because obviously we want a little bit of cordage for that. And the first thing that I'm going to do is just get hold of it and form a loop at that point there. So you can see now here that the cordage is going around underneath itself at this point here, around then over itself and then off to the right hand side to my working end. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get hold of either side of the rope here and I'm going to pass my hand underneath the standing end through the loop and then now we've got our working end coming out of the middle there. The next thing that I do is I just pass that cordage around the stanchion that I want to attach it to. So there's my working end going around the stanchion and then the next thing that I do is I take my working end and I follow it down parallel to where it's coming out at that point there. So turn it underneath, put it through underneath like so and then pull through the excess. Now this next thing, so simple, so easy, all we've got to do now is finish it off and to finish it off I'm basically taking this working end and I'm going to wrap it, at, so where my hand was through those two loops there, 
I'm just going to take it over once and pull it through. So take it over once and pull it through and then take it over again for a second time. Bring it up through that loop again and there we have it. We've now tied it off and all it leaves for me to do now is just pull it up and dress it up nice and smartly and there we go. We now have the double dragon loop has been tied around our post. Not too difficult. Yeah, it is a little bit difficult to get a grasp of, first of all, but once you know this, once you know this knot, you have got yourself a really secure end of line loop. So, you know, learn it, see if you enjoy it. Practice with it, see what you like. Anyway, once again, Thanks very much for watching. Please do share these videos because as usual, it helps the channel out. And I'll see you again, again next time. So let's get knotting. Bye-bye.